Hello guys, so um, today I'm going to teach you how to set up VPN on your Amazon server. Um, this is actually custom and not related to um, paying other people for VPN as a service. Um, here you go, uh, There's this is an article by Lin Song. Um, thanks for his uh, generosity to uh, create this VPN auto setup script or else um, we would have to code everything all by ourselves and that's going to take hours. Um, overview, um, this script uses uh, LibreSwan. Um, I don't know if I said that correctly but uh, packed with Ubuntu um, on an Amazon EC2 server. Uh, right now I think um, Amazon is doing like a sort of one year free T1 micro server um, just so to say that um, they are actually providing you one year free of um, server access technically that's how you would say it um, I guess because to try the services out or something um, but it's only for a T1 micro servers yeah okay so to get started, um, you'll need to have uh, your credit card, an Amazon account, and uh, the script. Okay, so um, this is the Amazon Web Services portal. It's aws.amazon.com. So if you do have an uh, Amazon Web Services account, you can sign in. Okay, so. Um, I am logged into the Amazon Web Services portal. There's going to be a whole bunch of um, different types of servers like database, storage, S3. Some of you might know it as the affordable FTP. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to IAM first. And when you see, you're going to see a bunch of, um, I guess, yellow or red squares. Um, all you have to do is follow those instructions and just make them all green just because um, it's good to be secure. And then what you're going to do is head back and click the orange um, Amazon Web Services logo and click on EC2. What, what EC2 is technically it gives you a server on Amazon and what it does is that it gives you let's say a secondary computer so your primary computer the one you're watching the video on accesses through the secondary computer and reroutes all your email and web browsing through that uh, particular computer and then um, it's going to, you know, access what you want, like Google, Facebook, um, Yahoo, you know, all that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start and create an instance, right? And then here to say there's like a bunch of confusing, um, you know, different servers. But today we're just going to focus on the community AMI servers, which uh, I have a note right here this is the code so I'm going to, after I pasted this code in or you could type it on your uh, you can feel free to pause and um, just type that code in and once you're done press enter um, you're gonna see only one image pop up it's because the code is specific to this um, community server uh, technically, it's a Ubuntu Trusty 14.04, 64-bit um, server. Uh, the root device type is supposed to be EBS, and the virtualization type is paravirtual. The reason why is because this these are the only servers that allow a T1 microserver to be um, launched. So uh, why don't I just click here, click next, and then as you see. Uh, T2 micro, T2 small, T2 medium, you have one CPU, your memory is around 613 megabytes, EBS only, 
and network performance is very low, um, you won't have to worry about slowness because if you're going to use it for one person or yourself or maybe your family, it will be enough because, um, you know, it's, it's not like dial-up. It's like um, today's cable connection where, you know, download speeds can reach up to, you know, one to two megabytes per second. Um, like, I mean, real download speed and not like, you know. Um, okay, so we're going to click next. Configure instant details. All right. Here are a bunch um, of different settings. Uh, make sure the network is all by default. Um, shut down behavior, stop, you know, all that. And then network interfaces. I believe, no, actually, no. Uh, just let it be ETH0. Technically, it's just their own network interface. Swipe down and uh, advanced detail is supposed to be hidden, right? Uh, click that arrow and let it show. Kernel ID RAM just got a use as default. And then what you're going to do differently here in the user data as text, um, you're going to go back to this. Uh, page uh, the script and then uh, what you're going to do is copy uh, be sure that uh, don't run this on your computer if you have a Mac because um, this is meant for the server itself and not for your computer so after what I did I was I just copied and paste and then um, right here if you see this area Please define your own values for these variables. Give you a very secure key. Um, let's consist of you know ten characters because I tried more and it didn't work for some reason. Um, it cut off. Uh, so you know IPsec PSK. You can just randomly type in characters and then I'm gonna do like let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, right? Uh, this is your PSK key, which is technically your um, pre-shared key, or uh, that's how they do it in uh, IPsec. Your username. So um, let's type in your usual username, or here I'm going to type uh, ELSU Tech. And then your very secure password, which is going to be max, maximum um, 16 characters. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, and that's a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, after that, once you have finished that, all you have to do is um, select all again and then copy this uh, code you just did. Um, and then you are going to paste the code into this tiny little box. Um, after that, you're going to uh, add storage. And then next, tag instance. Um, uh, Amazon somehow weirdly asks you to um, create a name for that server. So I'm just going to say Alcetech VPN. All right. And then next, configure security group. Uh, usually, I would just allow, um, let's see, copy the new. Um, usually, I would just allow um, protocol from the protocols 4500 and 500 because these are the ports that allow um, a VPN server to be ran. Um, source must be anywhere. Don't forget that. Um, you could do my IP, but if you do my IP and then you know, let's say your IP changes or anything, or you go outside, let let's say to your local internet cafe shop, uh, your VPN's not gonna work anymore. Here you can do um, your AMI details. Uh, it, you're gonna have this. Um, your instant security notice um, is open to the world. Technically, uh, you can leave that alone because you only have. It's open only open to the world on ports 4, 4500 and 500. Technically, uh, when you use that port, you can only uh, 
uh, launch the VPN. And what's happen what what happens next is you can just click launch. And then um, what you're gonna do is they're gonna ask you for your existing key pair. Um, if usually if you're new, uh, you won't have one. So what you're gonna do is click this list and create a new key pair. And then let's name that key pair name also tech VPN or you know whatever you deem to call it. And then most importantly, you have to download the key pair. Um, you could keep it around, um, but it's base. It's recommended that you not lose it because this is your only access uh, to your server. And if you lose it, um, you lose access to your servers. But you know, you can just click download key pair. Um, just click launch instance, and then it's going to do all its. Um, uh, processing and um, your instance is now launching so view instances I just see on top here um, you see that the top part is pending once it's finished running all you have to do is go to network and then you're gonna click add what you're gonna do is you're gonna click uh, VPN and then leave this to L2TP over IPsec. Um, VPN L2TP, that's the default name. You could change that. And then create. So this um, server is going to be uh, not configured yet. Um, default. On the server address part, you're going to go to your public IP. This is technically your server. So if you pop open and you copy this public IP and then you're gonna paste it here so so the instance this is the IP address 54682162203 and then your account name uh, is going to be uh, also tech um, if you actually create it as that but um, it's okay to be different well, this is just for tutorial sake and then what ne what's next is that you go to authentication settings and then for the password you copy this VPN password and uh, don't um, make a mistake of copying the this entire part including the equals because that's not part of the password um, just letting you know that and the IP PSK IPsec PSK is technically the shared secret. All right, once you click OK, you're not done yet. You click on Advanced, and then you click Send All Traffic Over VPN Connection, which allows all your traffic to direct to that specific server where you would um, go online and just you know surf on anything and. Uh, your IP address will not be the one that your internet service provider uh, provided you. So once I do, I click apply. And then I could close this now. And all I have to do is click connect. And then let it do its thing. And then as you see, your uh, status is connected. Um, you're sending and receiving files. Your IP address is going to be this, and that is your local IP address on that server, uh, on your VPN, so to say. And um, we're going to open a new tab, and we're going to uh, check my IP address. So what you're going to do is type IP address on your browser, and then if you have Google default, Google search as default, um, you're going to see that five four six eight two one six two zero three is your server address, and if that is if that does match, then you are you successfully connected to your own VPN server. That's all for um, today, guys. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you have a great day and um, please subscribe 
uh, to my YouTube channel, um, comment. If you know, you're so much say, you can rate, um, share this with your friends too. And uh, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching.